Gabe A. State running here with Lincoln Sudbury grad and Boston College sophomore Jack Carter, the winner of the mile. Looks like about 428, but negative splits uh, in the last 800. It looks like unofficially maybe 210, 211. So um, Jack, talk about this race. So four of you guys throughout this race battling it out. Yeah, no, there was, um, it was awesome. It was, it was a competitive atmosphere out there. Um, I sort of, you know, you come into these, you don't see the field, you have no idea what's going on. So we were really lucky to have some guys that could, that could race and go for that goal. I think all of us were trying to go sub 420, but you know, it just wasn't in the cards today. But at the end, it was a, it was an awesome battle down there at the end, and uh, yeah, it was, it was fun. So, so Jack, what was going through your head that last lap? So you're right in the mix that last lap, and then you make a move on that back stretch. Um, take the lead. It looks like a little more than 100 meters left. Um, what was going through your head? Yeah, no, I just at that point, um, I was I was all in. I was moving my moving my legs as fast as they could go. Um, just wanted to get the win, uh, get as low as I could of time. Um, one of the race really just looking to be competitive and uh, and then get some racing experience. And uh, I felt like that worked out great, especially down that last 200 meters. So Jack, I look like 217, maybe 218 at that 800. Um, when you saw that pace, um, what were you thinking at that point? Yeah, no, we were definitely trying to go a little faster, um, but the, the lead was changing uh, a lot. Um, I guess no one really wanted to take it, um, but you know that's, that's definitely a, what you see a lot, especially out in college, um, uh, the tactical race. So I think we all saw that 217. We're like, we got to get moving, um, and so I forget who it was. Someone just threw the hammer, and we were all off from there. Yeah, I think it was Andrew Cabral from Seacon. Um, so Jack, talk about your collegiate season. Like I said, you're a sophomore now at BC, but it's been kind of uh, shortchanged a little bit with uh, COVID. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so we didn't get an outdoor season, um, abbreviated cross country. So we were actually able to get down, um, race a couple meets um, across the ACC, which was we were lucky to do. Um, indoors, it's looking like we might head out to West Point, uh, a couple dual or tri meets up there with some teams in New York. They have the ACC championship down at Clemson, um, so just working towards a spot at that, at that championship. How did your cross country season go? Were you happy with it? Uh, not particularly. You know, um, uh, we had ACCs down uh, at NC State. That was a tough, fast course. Um, just sort of didn't feel like I was in the shape I needed to be. Mentally, it wasn't there. Um, so, really looking to a little bit of a chip on the shoulder, looking to get looking to get after it this winter. How was the transition going from high school to, to running in college last year? I was, it was, uh, it was hard. Um, you know, in high school at Lincoln Sudbury, there was like a group of core guys that we were, we were training with and we're pretty solid, but I was always up there. And um, it's awesome to go back and be the freshman again and to, and to get your butt kicked in workouts and to just <laughs> hang on to dear life. So, you know, I was able to do that and get some fitness and, uh, and go down and compete places last year. So I was lucky to be able to do that. Is the mile the event you're going to be concentrating on, or is there any other events? You know, I think I'm probably going to be moving up. Um, I love the mile. In high school, I was always a miler. Um, it's always like one of my favorite events to go and race, just those quick finishes, those duels at the end. But i um, definitely more of like a 3K, 5K guy now. Um, so I think towards the postseason, looking for that. But if I get the opportunity to run a mile, I'll always take it. How have you been able to stay motivated during this difficult time? I mean, it's um, yeah, you know, uh, I think I talked in this uh, a couple weeks ago, but like, just my teammates, at both the ones at LS and at BC, um, we're always talking, even if we're not together, if I'm at BC or at home, we're always talking, we're always motivating each other, uh, comparing times, comparing long runs, um, just, just doing everything we can to keep each other going and heads up. Well, Jack, congratulations today and good luck moving forward. Thank a great you very job. much. Thank you.